leaving civilization behind on a journey into the Maine North Woods, traveling over 49 miles on gravel roads without cell service or radio, we finally arrive at Allagash Lake, the most remote lake on the Allagash Wilderness Waterway. We made our way to the Cary Trail campsite, which is located in a beautiful spot just beside the water where we set camp and we immediately embark on an amazing two days of nonstop fishing. This, uh, big chub. I get the hook out of its mouth here. Way they put up a pretty good fight. A pretty nice sized chub too. But, uh, this is some chub up here on the Allagash Lake. Uh, I'm trying to get into some trout, but uh, put up a pretty good fight. So it's fine. We'll see what happens here. There he goes. Here we go. Third chub of the day. Allagash Lake. Hopefully we can get into some brook trout or lake trout or something. Here we go. Put him back. There he goes. Off into the wild bluey under. All right, Jack. What you got here? Another chub. Bring him back here. I can get him in the net. Nice size chub. What'd you catch him on? Uh, rooster tail. Rooster tail. All right. That's a, that's a pretty nice one. What'd you think about that fight? Insane fight. An insane fight best for best one all night. Best one all night. Jack's got another one. Look at that. Boom. Is that another chub, Jack? Yeah. Chubbing it up today. We are chubbing it up. You got him, Jack? Yeah. Yeah, we're looking at left and right. Still using that rooster tail? Yeah. yeah. The Allagash Lake. Good fishing. Jack with another one. Look at this. Holy cow. On a shad wrap. Rapala shad wrap. So tell me about that. You just got that uh, chub on a shad yeah, wrap. Let me see the shad wrap. Can you show it to us? Oh, this little guy here, huh? Bring that over here. Well, these guys get a good look at that. Oh, look at that. So you're hoping to see if there's any bass in here? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess time will tell. Can we try and eat one of these things? If you want to try eating a chub, sure. So while Jack is enjoying his freshly caught chub or fall fish for dinner, I decided to fire up the jet boil and make some chicken flavored ramen noodles. While enjoying dinner, we were accompanied by a pair of Canada geese and their ghostlings who enjoyed our campsite and we enjoyed their entertainment. But all good things must come to an end and we had to say goodbye or au revoir. Hey, maybe they're French Canadian. I don't know.
As day one is winding down and twilight is upon us, we continue to fish. Although we do not hook up with any brook trout or lake trout, the fishing was absolutely remarkable and eventually we retire to the campfire. First time to the Allagash Wilderness Waterway, We're catching fish one after the other. And that's a great, great place. Our campsite's great. Um, had a nice fire last night. We caught some fish, cooked some fish, and everything's going well. Good weather so far. And uh, we've seen some black bears. We've seen some bald eagles. Um, haven't seen a moose yet, so maybe that'll change. But um, wide open water. It's very calm out today, no wind. And uh, we're enjoying ourselves. Here we are out here in the morning. Jack's got a nice size fish on the line here. Oh boy, look at him go. It's been a good fight to wear this guy out. Jack with the first fish of the day. It's a nice one, Jack. Yeah. You catch it on the rooster tail? Yep. Nice. All right, man, let's, uh, you gonna release him? I'm gonna weigh him first. How much does that bad boy weigh? 10 ounces. 10 ounces? Although the fishing is out of this world, I can't get over the remoteness and beauty of the Allagash Wilderness Waterway. There's definitely something special in this place, and I'm very fortunate to be able to share it with my son as we create memories. Ooh, I got a hog. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. Whew. Didn't know if I was gonna be able to land him. A little chubby chub chub. Trying to get this hook out of his mouth. Wiggly little guy. He's in there pretty good. Alright, there he goes. Fun to catch. The Carry Trail campsite on Allagash Lake. Beautiful. From the shore here at the carry trail. Look at him go. Holy cow, look at that. Popping chubs, man. Popping some chubbies. Look at that. What'd you catch that one on? Oh, these things. oh yeah. A little Panther Martin. That's pretty nice size. Man, Jack, you're on fire. What do we have here? Big one. Oh, look at this guy, huh? I don't think I've ever seen a chub this big. That's crazy. Look at the size of that guy. Whoa. That's crazy. That's a PB. That is a PB for a chub. <laughs> Mr. Jack. Got that one on a devil, huh? Yeah. A little spoon. We're double hooked up here. We're double hooked up. There's Jack over there. He's He's got one. Look at this. All right, here we go. Watch those trout. Yeah, and that's dinner.
got some weather moving in. We're still catching fish. I've got a fire going at the campsite. And some baked potatoes. Some chicken ramen in the jet boil. Got the rain gear on standby in case it gets any worse. So, still having fun, man. Still having fun. Although we finally landed a trout, it's day three. It's time to pack up and head home. We check out at the ranger station on Chamberlain Lake before making our way 75 miles back to civilization.